Wealth is something that most of us hope to accumulate at some point in the future. Although the African continent is usually depicted as a barren land of no opportunities in Western media, there are individuals who defeat this stereotype by how they have been able to find opportunities and build wealth for themselves here on the African continent. Welcome to Top 10 Africa, and in today's video we will be looking at the top 10 richest people in Africa. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe to the channel and comment down any suggestions you may have on videos we should make. Thank you in advance. Let's begin with the countdown. Number 10. Jacobus Petrus Becker was born 14 December 1952 and is a South African billionaire businessman and the chairman of media group Naspers. Naspers currently operates in 130 countries and is listed on the London Stock Exchange and Johannesburg Stock Exchange. It has the largest market capitalization of any media company outside USA, China, and India. Jacob received his tertiary education at Stellenbosch University, where he completed his degree in law and literature. He later attended Wits University for his postgraduate law degree. According to Forbes Africa, Jacobus is currently worth $2.5 billion as of 2021 at the age of 68. Number 9. Patrice Moot Sippe was born on 28 January 1962 and is a South African mining billionaire businessman. Since 12 March 2021, he has been serving as the president of the Confederation of African Football. He is the founder and executive chairman of African Rainbow Minerals, which has interests in gold, ferrous metals, base metals, and platinum. He sits on several company boards, including being the non-executive chairman of Harmony Gold, the world's 12th largest gold mining company, and the deputy chairman of Sanlam. Having been brought up in Soweto, Mut Sipe is a mining magnate. Having founded Future Mining in 1994 and going on to launch African Rainbow Minerals Gold Limited in 1997, his success comes without surprise. The Blue Bulls rugby union co-owner became a billionaire in 2008, the first black African on the Forbes list, and he was South Africa's richest man in 2012 for a time with an estimated fortune of 20.07 billion rands which is about $2.4 billion. Patrice is also known for his philanthropy, as he established the Moot Sipe Foundation in 1999, it was founded on the philosophy of Ubuntu, the African concept of giving and caring for your neighbor and other members of your community. The 59-year-old was the first African to have joined the Giving Pledge, a campaign founded by Warren Buffett and Bill Gates, who are both consistently among the wealthiest people in the world. As of 2021, Patrice is currently worth an estimated $3 billion. Number 8. Nugi Bun C. Sawiris is an Egyptian entrepreneur and business person who founded Global Telecom Holding SAE, Win Telecom Spa, and Yup Technologies Inc. Nugi has also been at the helm of 12 different companies besides the ones just mentioned. There's just nothing stopping this man. Since joining Oriscom, the family business in 1979, Nagib has contributed to the growth and diversification of the company into what it is today one of Egypt's largest, most diversified conglomerates and the country's largest private sector employer. As of 2021, Nagib Sawiris was listed in Forbes magazine as the eighth richest person in Africa, with an astonishing personal wealth of $3.2 billion. Number 7. Next on the list is Isid Rebrab. Born in 1944, Isid is an Algerian billionaire businessman. He is the current CEO of the Sevital Industrial Group, which also happens to be the largest private company in Algeria. This company is very active and well-known in steel, food, agribusiness, and electronics sectors. One interesting fact you probably did not know about Isid is that he is the son of a militant who fought for Algeria's independence from France. Isid is a graduate from a professional school and was also once a business law and accounting educator. In addition, Isid is also a graduate of the Forbes School of Business at Ashford University, situated in California. This is why this man knows his ways around business. He is married and has five children, all of whom are involved in the management of several group companies. As of 2021. According to Forbes. The 77-year-old is worth an estimated $4.8 billion. Number 6. Abdul Samad Rabu was born in Kano, in the northwestern part of Nigeria, where he obtained his early education. 
He attended Capital University in Columbus, Ohio, and returned to Nigeria at the age of 24 to oversee the family business. It will be right to say that Abdulsamid Radu got his entrepreneurial skills from his late father, who was a skillful merchant. When Abdul returned from the United States, his father was detained by the administration of General Muhammad Buhari on allegations of duty aversion on rice imports. Even though young Abdulsamid did not have much business experience, he was able to stir the company around for good, even in the absence of his father. That responsibility gave Abdulsamid real business insights, which he used in setting up his own company called BUA International Limited in 1988. This company has since grown into the conglomerate it is today, thanks to the leadership of this Nigerian man. Abdul's net worth is estimated to be an astonishing $5.5 billion as of 2021. Be sure to subscribe to our channel if you don't want to get struck by lightning or be cursed by the evil African voodoo priest. Do it fast. Number 5. Adenuga. Nigeria's second richest man, built his fortune in telecom and oil production. His mobile phone network, Blabacom, is the third largest operator in Nigeria, with a whooping 55 million subscribers. His oil exploration outfit, Khan Oil Producing, operates six oil blocks in the Niger Delta. Adenuga got an MBA at Pace University in New York, supporting himself as a student by working as a taxi driver. He made his first million at age 26 selling lace and distributing soft drinks. This man right here worked his way to the top, and he sure knows how to keep the money coming for sure. His father, Oloye Michael Agbolardi Adenuga Sr., was a school teacher while his mother, Omoba Juliana Oyindamola Adenuga was a businesswoman of royal Ijebu descent. 69-year-old Mike Adenuga is worth $6.2 billion according to Forbes as of 2021. Number 4. Johann Peter Rupert was born on the 1st of June in 1950 and grew up in Stellenbosch, where he attended Paul Ruse Gymnasium. He then furthered his education at the University of Stellenbosch by studying economics and company law. He dropped out of the university to pursue a career in business. However, in 2004, the university awarded him an honorary doctorate in economics for his business achievements. Johan is actually the eldest son of the late business tycoon, Anton Rupert. He is the chairman of the Swiss-based luxury goods company, Richemont, and the South Africa-based company, Rembro. As of 1 April 2010, he assumed the CEO position of Compagnie Financière Richemont. Together with his family, he was estimated to be worth $5.9 billion as of April 2019 and was ranked as the second wealthiest person in South Africa on the Forbes list of the world's billionaires of 2019, with his fortune reported as having declined from a large $7.3 billion. Currently Rupert's net worth has risen, and according to Forbes, the South African is estimated to be worth an amazing $7.2 billion as of 2021. Number 3. Nicholas Frank Oppenheimer, or Nicky Oppenheimer is South African businessman and philanthropist. He was the former chairman of De Beers Diamond Mining Company. For 85 years until 2012, the Oppenheimer family occupied a controlling spot in the world's diamond trade. In addition, Nicky Oppenheimer is the heir to his father's fortune. He sold a 40% stake in De Beers to Anglo-American for $5.1 billion in cash in 2012 to get him that push ahead. Nicky was born on 8 June 1945 to Bridget and Harry Oppenheimer. He is the grandson of Ernest Oppenheimer, the founder of Anglo-American, a large multinational mining company. Nicky's father was of German-Jewish descent. He attended Harrow School in Christ Church, Oxford, where he studied philosophy, politics, and economics, earning him an Oxford Master of Arts degree. In 1984, Nicky was appointed deputy chairman of Central Selling Organization which is now known as Diamond Trading Company. Thereafter, he was appointed deputy chairman of De Beers Consolidated Mines in 1985. That same year, he was appointed chairman of the Diamond Trading Company. Between 1998 until 2012, he was the chairman of the De Beers Group. Nicky retired from De Beers when the family stake was sold to Anglo-American. This man has held quite a lot of big positions, and I'm sure you are wondering what his net worth is. Well, Nicky Oppenheimer is worth a perplexing $8.1 billion. He is a true example of how important generational wealth can be in life. Number 2. 
Carrying forward a business empire is not an easy responsibility as perceived by many. Egyptian businessman Narsif Sawiris did that and more. Youngest son of Ansi Sawiris, an Egyptian businessman who founded Oriskam conglomerate in 1950, Narsif now leads the reins. This corporation is operational in several industries in Egypt, including tourism, telecommunications, construction, science, and technology. Everything this man touches turns to gold. And I mean everything. Narsif currently serves as the chief executive for Oriskam Construction Industries and is responsible for taking care of the construction projects of the company. With his massive efforts and entrepreneurial skills, he has become one of the most known personalities and the wealthiest entrepreneurs in Egypt. Born in 1961, Narsif showed interest in his father's business from his early childhood. In 1990, he started overseeing construction activities of the Oriskam Corporation and became the CEO of the Oriskam Construction Industries in the year 1998. This man here most definitely had a good mentor on his side. Narsif Sawiris carries quite a reputation as an enterprising leader. Oriskam Construction Industries is one of the leading procurement, construction, and engineering contracting companies in Egypt. It is operational in over 25 countries across the globe, including Pakistan, North Korea, Spain, Northern Iraq, Algeria, Turkey, and Egypt. It is one of the primary companies in the Oriskam group of his father and produces a capacity of around 21 million tons every year. The company is a leading construction contractor and interestingly, a producer of fertilizer. This company boasts to being one of the biggest corporations across Europe, North America, North Africa and the Middle East. Before I tell you about the net worth of Narsif Sawiris, please remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We'd truly appreciate it. Narsif Sawiris according to Forbes, is the second richest individual in Africa and has an amazing net worth of $9.2 billion. Before we get to number 1. Please consider being a patron to support this channel and help us with creating more interesting content about Africa. Our patrons get perks like getting to see new videos days before they are published or get to see patron exclusive videos. We appreciate you watching this video, it truly means a lot to us at Top 10 Africa. Number 1. Now the moment you have all been waiting for. Aliko Dangode is a Nigerian billionaire business magnate. He is the wealthiest man in Africa, with an estimated net worth of $11.1 billion as of May 2021. I'll give you time to let that sink in. The business empire he began to build more than three decades ago, Dangote Group, is one of the largest private sector employers in Nigeria as well as the most valuable conglomerate in West Africa. At the age of 21, a young Dangote borrowed $3,000 from his uncle to import and sell agricultural commodities in Nigeria, his native country. His business venture quickly became a success, and as a result, he managed to repay the entire loan within three months of starting operations. Ultimately, Dangote was able to turn a local commodities trading business into a multi-billion dollar corporation. Aliko Dangote has been the richest man in Africa for 10 years in a row, with a net worth of almost $12 billion. Dangote's fortune is primarily built from his company, Dangote Cement, although he started his business empire by selling commodities such as sugar, salt, and flour. Dangote also owns the world's third largest sugar refinery, and together, all of his publicly traded companies make up a quarter of the market capitalization of the Nigerian Stock Exchange. This man's company is literally the lifeline of Nigeria. Born in 1957, Dangote grew up in an entrepreneurial household in Karno State, Nigeria. He was raised Muslim and lived an upper-class life. Dangote's grandfather, Sarnusi Dan Tata, was once named one of the wealthiest people living in Karno. He made his fortune selling commodities like oats and rice. Dan Tata became Dangote's guardian in 1965 after the death of his father. Now we know where the entrepreneurial spirit was kindled from. Having spent much of his childhood with his grandfather, Dangote quickly became interested in the world of business, once saying, I can remember when I was in primary school, I would go and buy cartons of sweets sugar boxes, and I would start selling them just to make money. I was so interested in business, even at that time. At age 21, Dangote graduated from Egypt's Al Azhar University, considered one of Islam's most prestigious universities. It was there, where the budding entrepreneur furthered his education in business. Thank you for watching till the end of this video. We hope this video was well informative and entertaining. 
perhaps we will have your name on our top 10 richest Africans list. Who knows? Though, before you go, be sure to subscribe, like this video, and comment down below on what you thought about our top 10 richest Africans list. Thank you in advance. Catch you on the next video.